today I'm go in this video I'm going to give you my insight and review of the Canon 70D. Although as we speak Canon has just released the new 80D version, which uh, that's an extra reason why you should consider buying the 70D instead. You might find it still cheaper on the market and the features are probably pretty much the same. Uh, so either if, whether you are a beginner or going to a more advanced photography, uh, the 70D includes most of the features that, that you need and the quality of the images that you require to become a better photographer. Let me show you some. What I, what I find with Canon is actually that the more you advance in a more professional camera, the less features you get. I'm going to show you a few. One that I really love is the fact that it's got a level. It's so important to level your camera because one of the, the first mistakes that beginners do is not have the camera level, so when they photograph a lake or, or a sea, the horizon is not straight, and this is the first common mistake that you can see. Another great feature is uh, as you switch into live view mode, you have the touch screen, so if you want to focus on something, you just tap on your screen, focus on something else, and the camera immediately focuses. The screen on the 70D is also flippable, so you just pull it here, it goes around, is to do selfie or to see when you're filming yourself and you get a fantastic clear view of what you film filming with the possibility of adjusting the settings at the same time so you just scroll, you just tap and everything just scroll easily and this is a very fantastic feature that you won't find in any more advanced, more professional cameras unfortunately he has got the wheel with the button press the button so you don't accidentally switch to a different mode and all the all the mode settings that you find it more in all the DSLR cameras are over here as well TV, AV, M so although most of the time I tend to use manual mode completely manual so I decide everything that I want the camera to do and not letting the camera deciding anything every now and again I use the aperture value which uh, you set the aperture and the camera adjust the ISO and shutter speed accordingly uh, you can do bulb mode when you do night photography that is a very good feature when you want to go over the 10, 30 seconds exposure uh, for night shots for long exposures where you get all the, the motion and the blur of the cars passing by or lights uh, or the stars or the moon whatever you're photographing and any other feature you know the fully automatic settings <music> 70D has got uh, the top screen as well, that uh, this, this feature you find in a more professional camera as well. Another great feature is of course the Wi-Fi setting. You can connect the camera with the, the application from Canon that you got in the smartphone or your tablet and you can um, remote shoot from, uh, from the application from your phone and you can, you know, everything you can do with the Wi-Fi, so share the photos download them on the phone or upload them onto a social network uh, site. Okay, so I've probably forgotten many of the features that come on 70D has got, but these are some of the most important that I find very useful and that you won't find in a more advanced camera. As I said, unfortunately, Canon, uh, I have the feeling that the more you upgrade into a more professional camera and the less feature you get. So uh, anyway, I am not related or sponsor by Canon or by any other camera brand, I wish I was. And um, this is just my honest opinion, so I hope uh, you leave your comments below. Anyway, you're welcome to follow, like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos to come. And uh, from myself and Kika, see you next time.